All right. So let's get to it here, some of the details. This is what I call the chapter. Now, I don't care if you just want to call it coal. That's fine. But I call this the development of Lycans Valley after the massacre, which really doesn't happen until coal is found. Coal is discovered. So whatever you want to call it. And there is a reading handout. There's also a write-on handout, and we'll talk about both. Now, the reading handout, you don't need to write that down, but that's going to be on Canvas available to you. If you want the hard copy, that's fine, too. But anyway, <clears throat> where we're at is the massacre's over, and we're getting into how this valley really grows. From the period of about 1750 to about 1800, not a whole lot of settlements taking place here. Okay. It wasn't until coal is discovered that all of a sudden this valley starts to really multiply. And that really is why you see the bicentennials taking place now. And if you go 200 years ago, Elizabethville was not founded until 1817. Okay, to give you an example, some of you remember that. Lycans also, Marysburg, because until the coal region. Now, even though what I'm telling you is, if you know, if we go, well, not to the cemetery, but if you go over to the fields, you're not going to mine coal. You're not going to mine coal up in the Berry Mountain. At least to a high degree. There's some there, but not enough to make a go out of it. But that doesn't mean people that are living here didn't work in the mines. Okay, that's what I want you to understand. Certainly my ancestors did. Okay, <clears throat> many of my relatives did. Okay, so the major development of Lycans Valley, and you want to know this word, anthracite. I don't know how much you cover this in your science classes, but does anybody know the two types of coal? One is anthracite, by the way. Does anybody know the other one by any chance? There is another one. It starts with a B. Anybody know? The other one is a lot more common. There's anthracite coal, and then there's bituminous coal. We're worried about anthracite. Both burn, both will heat your home, but the anthracite is a lot harder of a coal. It burns a lot longer and it burns a lot cleaner. That's why people wanted anthracite, okay? All right, so here's a big year you want to know. You want to know this year, 1825. 1825 is a really a pivotal year in the Lycans Valley. And I want you to know the two names. The major development in the valley commenced 1825 with the discovery of coal by two men. Jacob Bird, I'm not worried about the senior, but you can feel free to write it if you want. And Peter Kimes, Bird and Kimes. who worked at the lower end of Short Mountain. So what I want you to understand is coal was discovered the lower end of Short Mountain, kind of in the Loyalton area, and that changed everything forever, <laughs> really. Bird and Kimes discover coal. Unfortunately for them, they never made a whole lot of money out of it. Other people came in, Simon Gratz, along with many other people. Now, in the picture is not Bird and Kimes. That's just a picture I put in, with, which I will explain in a minute. Say you go out walking in Lycans. You walk up on the game lands, or you go walking up in Williamstown or Wiccanesco. How do you know if you find coal? 
Anybody know how you find it? What does it look like? It's shiny. It's shiny. Yes. Go ahead and hit, hit the light, sir, if you would. Well, I get it. Thank you. You see the difference? This would be slate, which does not burn, and it will actually damage your furnace if you try to put it in with a conveyor belt, things like that. This would be coal. Now, you can find this laying on the surface. You can still, if you walk up to Love Rock and Lichens or anything like that, you can still find coal. And I'll show you more pictures of this as we go through it. But if you find this, you're in business. You're not going to find a whole lot of it. On the ground. You start digging, you might find more. Now, I won't say the guy's name because maybe some of you know him. Not that there's any, you know, any problem there. But when I go for a walk up in the game lands, up in Lycans, there's a guy there. He's my grandfather's age. My grandfather is 92 years old. And they went to school together, actually. Both of them quit school at sixth grade because a World War One back in the day, things like that. World War Two, I forget. But anyway, <laughs> to go work on the farm. The guy has more money than all of us put together will ever have. But he goes up there, and you know what he does? He goes through the surface with his five-gallon bucket, and he picks the coal off the ground. Why should I spend money for coal when I got it? I can go get it all I want. Five gallon bucket, it probably takes him a whole day for five gallons, but that's important to him because he doesn't want to spend the money. He's probably got several million dollars in the bank. He could easily buy a couple tons of coal and run to the river, but no, it's not. But I think we all know people like that. It's part of the Dutch culture, I think. But, <laughs> but hey, more power to him. Whatever he wants to do, it's a free country. You know, if that's what he wants to do. Okay. Now, I want to mention this picture here. Not worried about the people in the picture, although certainly their families would be, but not worried about that. So you got here people outside of the Williamstown Tunnel, which, by the way, that's still there. I walked up to that last winter. You can walk up and see it. It's part of the game lands, well, actually state forest in that area. And you can walk right up to where this was. Actually, my great-grandfather worked in that tunnel. Now, why am I showing you this picture? Well, it has nothing to do with bird and cops. But I want to mention something else. If you look at the years in the early 1900, getting a picture taken was very costly and certainly not very common. I don't know if you've ever looked at older pictures, but if you try to get a, take a picture, you look at the older pictures, you rarely see people smiling. And it's not because they weren't happy, but because if you try to hold a smile that long, you know, the old say cheese thing, it's hard to do. For about 20 seconds is what it would take to take a photograph. So think about it. How long can you, how long can you hold a cheese thing? Now, Austin can. He's a happy kind of guy. But everybody else, I mean, come on, take the picture and knock it off, will you? You get to that point. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so took a long time. A lot of equipment, very expensive. Here's my point. A lot of the coal companies actually had photographers on staff to take pictures inside and outside of the mines. And that is great for us because I literally have thousands of these pictures. So it's great for research. It's great to understand the impact of mining. The other thing that makes this pretty cool is, or another part of the story, is that the mining companies would allow the workers to have family portraits taken, which they probably could not ever afford on their own. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you did that and you're one of the families, you wanted your family portrait taken, it would have to be on a Sunday because for the most part, the mines were in operation from Monday through Saturday. So probably on a Sunday afternoon, probably came from church, is when that picture was taken. So I do want you to be aware of that. And that was considered a perk of the job. So 
obviously, if you look at that picture, they didn't just come out of the coal mine working. Okay. They would be, certainly the clothing would be a lot dirtier. Go ahead. Is that tunnel still open or is it blocked off? That tunnel is open. You can walk in, um, I'd say about 30 feet, but then it's actually starting to cave in. I would not, I would not trust it. Okay. The one right next door to it is walled, is walled off though. And I'll tell you those stories as we go through it too and show you all kinds of pictures. Okay. Um, let me just show you this here for a second. I thought this map was pretty cool. <clears throat> if you look at this map of Dauphin County, And you definitely can see some of the names would be very different. Um, they have the old state hospital on here, etc. But let me come over here. Now here's Washington Township, which we are familiar with. And here you have Wiconisco Township. Okay. Notice what they call Short Mountain. Yeah, and that was actually called Coal or a thick mountain for a reason. Okay. So I think that's pretty cool. Look at Lycanstown. The Wiconisco Road. Okay. It was not called, um, I'm sorry, the railroad is actually part of that there. But they actually, some people called this the Wiconisco Road also instead of Route 209. But I think that's pretty cool. That short mountain, this is short mountain right here. And that was called Coal Mountain, obviously. Because of the coal industry. Town. Yep. Let's see if we can find Elizabethville. Yeah. Elizabethville was actually named, of course, before it was called Benderstow. Isn't that actually the property? Yes. The deeds, yes, that would be the property owners. Yep. Uh, let me see here if we can figure it out. Where's that at? Right there. Oh, over here. 1858. There you go. Let's see if we can find if Bird and Kimes would have still been alive at the time. They would have been about right over in here. That doesn't mean that that would be their home there. Um, yeah, I don't see their names. Here's, by the way, you see that Coaldale? That's that little town up there between Lycans and little village more so okay yeah but no Wiconisco is spelled the way we spell it and there's that big lick mountain so it's big lick on this side and then over here you have the or what we would say short mountain let me just show you one other thing here you see the Lycans Valley Railroad which came up through here and notice how there are two sets of tracks the empty cars would go up into the mountain and the full cars would come out. Okay. And that was called the biplane railroad. Okay. All right. So here's what that tunnel was that I was just talking about. And again, that's, let me just show you this. That's the same one. Okay. Austin, we read through the top there. Around 1825, coal was discovered in the lower end of Short Mountain by Mr. Jacob Bird Sr. and Mr. Peter Himes while on the wall. One of them, having a stick cane in his hand, carelessly dug into the ground and revealed black dirt. Dolphin County Historical Atlas, 1865. Curiosity apparently led to further digging to the point where coal began being mined and carried down the mountain by wagons. Okay, and again, you can see if you you can walk up to this, okay, and you can walk in. Um, I did just a couple of feet. I don't trust it because you know there's no type of safety studies done or and things like that. Okay. All right, keep going there, Austin, if you would. Walking stick discovers coal. Burden Crimes discovered coal in the western end of Short Mountain. The northwest end, there are coal veins that come to the surface on the grass side of the mountain in certain areas. Bird and Himes organized a group of men to mine the coal, which was hauled off the mountain by horse and wagon on the 
road that had, they had to build. So I do want you to know that last part there. They did transport the coal by horse and wagon. Now that's obviously going to change because I did just mention the railroads coming. But mostly horse and wagon. I'll show you. Just a second. Okay, now this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, if you walk up through there, now this picture is obviously very old, but it still exists like that. If you walk up to where... Um, one stop recycling walk up through the game lands and this is what you will see and some of that is coal like right in here but a lot of it is slate okay and you don't want to pick the slate because that's not going to work in your coal stove or furnace whatever you're going to do but this is a very big um part of lichens valley i'll tell you this a few years ago well, it's been a while now. If you know where the Rockville Bridge is down in Harrisburg, they actually had a coal train, well, train carrying coal cars, I call it a coal train, coming across the bridge, and it actually fell off the bridge. Thank God nobody was hurt, actually, the engineer of the train. But all those tons of coal dumped in the Susquehanna River. Now, the Susquehanna River, when it's low in the summertime, you can actually walk out there and probably not get your knees wet. And there were people that did actually drive out into the Susquehanna River in their trucks and actually took shovels and loaded up the coal. Now, if you've ever been on the Susquehanna River, you know that the river rock looks like coal also. It looks dark. Well, I know people that actually did that and they actually scooped up river rock, which is worse than actually picking up slate. And they actually damaged their furnaces. So... I don't think I would have driven my truck out on the river. I think I would have, you know, skipped that part. But nonetheless, there were people that did it. And I know two of the people that did it. Okay. Um, do I want you to be aware of this? Let's read the, the top part, and then we'll go into the details there. Okay. Brady, if you would, please. There are two types of coal interstate, which is known as hard coal. And it's more, a more efficient efficient. Bituminous. Bituminous. Yep. Okay, so I just want to mention this. The other type is bituminous. So you have anthracite, which is, there's a lot less, which is why it's so valuable. Anthracite is considered the better of the two, by far. And right here, you can see this right here. This is Short Mountain. You see where my pointer is there? That's Short Mountain. That's where it ends or begins, however you look at it, and goes up through Luzerne County, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, Lackawanna County, right on up through. This over here is just part, a little bit that comes over, not quite to Shamokin area. If you've ever been up to Knobles Grove, you drive through the area, you can see the coal mines up through there. Treverton, yeah. Coltmont, yep, you're going to see them, right. And that's what that is. Centralia, big time, yep. Which would, Centralia would actually be right over in here, North, well, actually right here in North Google. Okay, so bituminous, there's more of it. Anthracite, there's less. But if you find anthracite, you're in business. That's why it was so important. Okay, show you this as well. I think that's pretty cool. Map, bituminous, a lot more. Take a look at that. You can see this map doesn't even include the anthracite coal region as part of Dolphin County. <laughs> But if you get up through here, this is Schuylkill County here, Carbon County over here, 
Um, North, yep, Carbon County because of the, of course, what it gives off. Yes, carbon gases. And there you can see the anthracite coal region. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to give you this right on handout. And I'll explain it here a little bit. Might be a couple extra there. Those of you in the back, you can just hold on to it. Like that. We need a little bit. We only got two. Okay. Any extra in there? Okay, obviously, page one there is the – anybody have one now? All right, let me just show you this. Um, the first page here, you can see, obviously, the title, no big deal. Um, if you go to page two, you can see the key people, terms, you get the idea. Some of this we just went over. Some we will as we go through the chapter. Um, <clears throat> take a look at page 3A and look at what I scribbled down at the top of the page. Some of the information below is also on 2 and 3. I just included it to make sure we have everything, okay? This is not for homework. It's nothing like that, but just showing you this. And look at 3B. You got a couple questions. If you go over to page 4, and five. I am not going to ask you pretty much to turn in any of this, especially word finds. But if you have time, a lot of students seem to enjoy word finds. Sometimes I do, but then I'll be honest with you, sometimes they just absolutely annoy me. I get tired of looking for words backwards, upside down, what, you know, whatever. So you're welcome to take a look at those. And obviously those are coal mine um, Terms, people, etc. Okay, so we only have a few minutes there. If you want to just look at the people, and I got Bird and Kimes there, and then we're finished for today. You want to look at the word fine? Go for it. Just to be clear, word finds, I can't give you a grade for doing a word.